What's going on everyone? It's my back again and uh, yeah, uh, huge congratulations to Toffee Blues. First of all, they've hit 10,000 subscribers tonight. It was, a, it was a privilege going on their channel. I think that was the first time I'd been on and Connor was a great host and uh, congratulations to all them guys. They, they, they had Kieran Lance on as well. I, I don't know if they're getting anyone else on, but yeah, real privilege. Um, I'm just on my way to play football. Um Loved the video. I don't know if anyone watched it um, on Toffee TV earlier. Um, I think it came out about three or four hours ago. Really funny video. I think it was um, Cam. And I, th I think the lad's name's Ned. I think it's Ned. Um, he's a good singer. And then obviously Baz and Pedro against, um, against the two lads. And it was a really funny video, actually. Um, so... Don't I, you know? Don't usually talk about their their content, but it's a really good video today. Fully worth the watch, guys. And uh, yeah, it was it, it was. It's been an interesting day for Everton. Everton have been linked with Philippe Coutinho again, but whereas it was just a name that was plucked around the internet a little bit, uh, Fabrizio Romano actually mentioned Everton in the tweet. He actually came out and said because I think Las Palmas or. or Pamareras have been linked with Coutinho and um, he mentioned Everton, like he, he come out and, and tweeted Everton were interested in him and it surprised me a little bit because I don't kind of feel like Everton would have learned anything from the oh, Hamas Rodriguez saga the Rooney saga, this has happened several times in Everton's history where we bring back these these, you know, these, these superstars, I'm not going to say Coutinho's a, a superstar icon, but he's he's well known, obviously well respected in the game, and um, he he was he he doesn't tick the box, in my opinion. Now a lot of people are saying, look, it's a loan deal, six months. You may get the best of Philippe Coutinho because he he has to prove that he's still capable of playing at, at an elite level in in the game and. You don't want to do a James Rodriguez. He doesn't. He doesn't want to go to a league that no disrespect, nobody's really heard of. Playing for a team that I can't remember what they're called, and sort of, he's just there because he's he's the big name of the football club. He, you don't want that. It's if Coutinho does want that. If he if he wants the easy life, Everton's not the place to come. Um, it, it's really not. I. I would be very surprised if Coutinho comes to Everton. I really would. And I know we're obviously interested, clearly, but I just I just can't see. I think these moves have got to happen early in the window. I think he's got a huge salary. Um, you know, how much are Everton going to be prepared to pay him for six months? You know, is he expecting 200 grand a week when we've, we've just started to at least look like we're getting some semblance of order in terms of our finances because we've had, you know, a quiet window in, in the summer. It doesn't make sense to me spending that sort of money. Like the Ramsey deal, you know, if you're saying to me you're signing Aaron Ramsey for six months and you're offering him 60 grand a week, it's a lot of money, obviously, to, to me and you and everyone watching, but it's 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 a not an unrealistic amount of money for a Premier League footballer and it doesn't sit there and go, Phew, that's mega money. It, it it goes, OK, well, that's the sort of money that I think is, is fair for a player that can't really get in the Juventus team. Um, he's on 400 grand a week, so he's never going to take, he's never going to take an 85% pay cut, is he? If I've got my maths right. I might not have got my maths right. Um, He's not going to do If I have got my mask right, I've done it on the spot. So if I've worked that out right, get in the fucking comments and like and subscribe if you know, because I honestly, boom, like that. Um, it's just whether, we, you know, we would consider that. And Coutinho's in the same boat. I don't know how much Coutinho's on, but say it's a quarter of a million pound a week, a million pound a month. Everton won't offer him that. The, the max they'll offer him, I would guess, is a hundred grand a week. And I think there's probably other clubs out there, whether it be a, a China or the Emirates or, or somewhere else, that will offer him more money. And if he's motivated by money, which, you know, we, we all to a degree are motivated by money. You know, I, I wouldn't go to a new job because I'm paid less. Do you know? I, I, I do get that he's not going to want to take a huge pay cut. It's just whether Everton can bridge that gap and. It's also whether he's got that, that desire to go and prove that he's got it. And as I mentioned earlier, if he hasn't, 
it's just a waste of money. It's just a waste of £6 million for the next six months. Or whatever it is. I'll tell you what, honestly, if the maths are on point, I don't know what, honestly. You know, it just would be a waste of money. So I, I'm very much on the fence about it. I, I, I don't think Coutinho is the right man. I don't think Ross Barkley is the right man who we've also been linked with. I... <sighs> I think Everton have got bigger issues than a number 10. I'd rather wait until the summer and go and get a number 10 who who is going to be more consistent. He's going to be a, a sort of a, a stayer in that side. You know, there's players that I do think Everton may sign. I think they may sign uh, Longstaff from Newcastle. I'm not saying I'm happy about it, but it wouldn't surprise me if we do. Um, I think we will sign a right back again. It wouldn't surprise me if it was Patterson or maybe Callum Chambers on loan. And we've already signed a left back because it looks like Luca Dean's leaving. So none of these things surprise me. What I would say, though, is it, it sort of changes my opinion about where we are because I, I didn't really think we were going to spend much money in, in January and I still don't really think we will. But we're signing 20 million quid on a player that up until six weeks ago we didn't need. So I, I don't understand how, where, why, to be honest. And, you know, Luca Dean and Rafa Benitez know that between them. But I think Everton need to be more strategic with where, where they're spending the money. They clearly need to. 15th in the league. Yes, we've got, we're have got. we going to have three games in hand on some teams, I think, or at least two. So I understand we need players. Um Andros Townsend just fell off the boil. Um, Damari Gray has been fantastic. Richarlison has, has, I would say, had a better season than last season. Um, we've got Calvert Loom returning. The midfield of Decore has been Decore has been really good. You know, apart from his injury, which killed us really, but he's been really good. And then you've got Allen, who has been fairly steady. Does he, I don't want to over-concern myself with Alan because I think he's the least of the problems, but he he hasn't necessarily set any trees on fire this year. He, it's not like I've gone to him and gone, yeah, he's brilliant in the middle of the park. I don't do not do that. But with Decore, he's, a, he's an absolute. So I think there's a lot of positions that Everton need to strengthen and January might just have to be the start of it. It might just have to be the start of bringing a couple of players in or getting the right additions in the team fairly quickly and as long as we can do that then we can kick on the the tail end of next season you know Rafa Benitez has alluded to it he has said we're going to have a better second half of next season I hope he's right I hope he's right not not for his sake but for us you know as fans I, I didn't come into this season I didn't think we'd be great I think I predicted we'd finish 12th or 13th but I didn't think we'd ever drop as low as 17th and only be I think what is it four points or five points off the bottom three? That's not good enough. That That is not good enough. And, you know, with some of the results we've had, the 5-2 the at Watford, it's a disgrace, really. So I, I do think we need to be a bit rational, and that's my concern with Everton. You know, we've seen it time and time again. We don't, we don't have rationale. We don't have the thought process. You know, we, we need a winger, so we go and spend £35 million on Iwobi. Doesn't make sense to me. So... Look, I I really do think I want to see a left left back because I think we need one now and it looks like we've got one. I want to see a right back and I want to bring him in early. And I do think we need a, a set of legs in the middle because I don't think Andre Gomez is going to have that game time. I, I think we do need a ball-carrying midfielder, whether that's a 10 or a 6. It doesn't really matter to me, but we need one. So, all in all, yeah, I think, as a football club, January's got to be the first steps going forward. But we don't want to we don't want to get ourselves into trouble again. And then in the summer we build on that again and we do it gradually. That that would be better for me in, in my opinion. Anyway, look, I'm leaving it there. It was just a whistle stop video just before football. Again, huge congratulations to Toffee Blues. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to me. And then uh, go over and subscribe to those guys. And uh, Kieran Mantz was on as well, so go over and subscribe to him as well. And apart from that, guys. Keep smiling, up the toughies. Hopefully we've got a game against Brighton that's not going to get called off. But again, we'll see. And uh, that's the annoying thing. That is an annoying thing that, that um, our new signing 
can't play against Brighton's going to have to wait to the week after and play in the FA Cup. Um, other last piece of news, again, I'm, I'm not really bothered. Cenk Tosson has been linked with a move to Besiktas. Ridiculous, really. We spent £27 million on him three five years ago, and it looks like he's going back on a free after probably destroying his career, really. Um, he never made it at Everton, and he pretty much refused to leave, and even when he did leave, he got injured. So, yeah, brilliant. Um yeah, I'm leaving it there, guys. Have a good one. I'm going to enjoy a game of footer. Peace.